Hello and thanks for joining. You're welcome back to the channel. In this short video, we're going to see how you can make use of Ansible automation ad hoc commands to carry out simple tasks. For example, you just want to check if hosts are up or if you need to verify what disk space you have, things like memory, or you want to update all the packages on a particular group of servers, things that you would normally do with uh, a playbook. But if they are just basic tasks that you need quick results, then you don't have to write a playbook for that. You can just use ad hoc commands to quickly get results. I have these servers running on UTM. So yeah, the that's the virtualization software I'm using. It's free. You can have that installed on your M, M1 or M2 MacBook. So I have that and the four servers running uh, master server one, two, and server three. So Ansible is installed on the laptop itself. I have SSH access to these servers, the four servers. So if we ls here, you would see the inventory. If I cut the inventory, I have I am using the host names of the servers currently. Right now, we can start by performing a single task. So these servers, they are, see, these servers are up, right, up and running. But how do we how do we check? So the first ad hoc command we're going to use is to check if all hosts are up. So Ansible, all, that's everything in inventory uh, dash m. The, the module we want to use is ping the ping module dash, dash m. We want to ping on the servers as the user root. So hit enter and let's see. So it started with server three, that was successful. So you can see it started with server three, that was a success, discovered the interpreter. It essentially uses uh, Python. Uh, ping, you got a response, pong, ping. Yeah, so server two, same thing. It means all the servers are up. And that is us here from this laptop, which is the control, the, the Ansible control host, if you if you like, sending a ping message to check if these four nodes are up and running. We can check the free disk space on these nodes. Same same command, but this time, if you say Ansible all, so all the all the nodes in the inventory. So Ansible all dash m the module, but we're going to use the shell the shell command, and the argument we want to pass to that command is free free dash h. So free dash h as a user a root. So hit enter. You, you see it's going to check the memory on each of the servers. On server three, this is the memory I have. So uh, 1.7 1, 1. Uh, gigs and the swap is two, two, uh, two gigs. Then what's used was free. Same thing for the rest of, for the other servers. If something has been changed, you can see that the color is basically yellow and then it says this what has changed so on all this it has qu uh, queried uh, these servers and updated uh, disk usage so ansible all the model or the, the module again we want to use is the shell and this time we we want disk tree human readable as user root so i have root ssh access i've mentioned that before i i'm just trying to reiterate i have root ssh access into the the servers i'm connecting to run so hit enter it starts again with server 3 and comes back with uh, information about um the free disk uh, space all the the, uh, the mounts i have the, the local 
uh, mounts I have and the available uh, storage on all the three the servers. So you can see this uh, server two, this master and server one and server three, server one and server three. Like updating all the packages on the server on the servers, or you can target a particular group of servers to update the packages. If we look at the inventory again. If I cut the inventory file, we can target the web servers, right? How do you do that? Just Ansible. So rather than saying Ansible uh, all, you are specifying the inventory, the inventory file. In that inventory file, you are saying, I want to target only web apps, right? I want to target only web apps to run the the module that would do the, uh, the update right the module uh, dnf it depends on your what what your package manager is so in this case since i am using braille based servers which in rocky linux dnf works fine uh, yum as well will do so dnf right so i want to update all the all the packages so dnf uh, dash what do I want to append if there is uh, the, the argument dash a let me let me move this so the argument of name everything the name is all the packages the state I want the state to be the latest the latest uh, versions of those packages and I want to do that as user root so hit enter it's going to target only web apps and execute this um, and update all the packages you can see that's been done so it changed it I only only server one and server two which that's the group we have as web apps so you can target specific uh, groups to do that. So you can see it changed. It, it, a change was made and it installed these packages and removed this. So you can do uh, something like uh, install a new package. So updating, installing, just anything you would normally go on each server the each the command prompt of each server to do uh, you can do that as an uh, as uh, using ad hoc ad hoc command the inventory cut inventory so we have web apps uh, we can use the the master node or on all the servers it doesn't uh, really so ansible we want to do uh, we want to install on all the servers right uh, ansible all uh, the module we want to use is dnf because it, these are rail, rail based servers that's the package manager they use and dash a the name of the package we want right so the, the name of the package we want let's install HTTPD. So the name of the package we want to install is HTTPD, and we want to do that as user root. So that's going to install HTTPD on all the servers. Hopefully, if everything goes fine. Okay, that's a good sign. Installed. You can see. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. Perfect. So everything went well with no errors at all so it made this change and it installed this on on um on the master node the same thing on server one and the other servers so that's that's basically it you can play around with a lot of commands and the point is you should be able to carry out quick uh, tasks without having to write playbooks if you have any question please drop a comment in the comment section i would uh, respond to you if you need help with setting this up let me know as well so 
I have UTM running with different servers. I actually even have Windows 11, ARM-based Windows 11 running as well.